Good afternoon, everyone. This is Beth Frickliffs with Insurance Agency Marketing Services, your life insurance sales director. Um, I am super excited to have Joanna on the phone with us from Americo. Um, she is going to be going over their portfolio of final expense products, which I'm super excited about. Um, they have a process that's different from anybody else. Um, they pay a great commission. Um, they pay um, commissions quickly. Um, so you're definitely want to um, listen in on this. Um, if you missed it, she was with me at 10 o'clock this morning, too, talking about the Instant Decision IUL, which is really awesome as well. If anybody is interested, I have the recording already saved. Um, just email me at Beth at imsinc.com. That's Beth at imsinc.com, and I'll get that recording out to you. Uh, we'll do um, what we usually do, which is a short commercial on IMS. I've, I can see your names. I know I've, there are several names on here I've talked to many times, but there are some new agents or, or just getting started with us agents as well. So I want to make sure we cover the great things about IMS. Um, maybe um, you missed something before, you didn't know that we did, um, and then if you're brand new, I'm sure you're going to get a lot of great ideas off this. So we always want to start our um, new producers off with a bump, and we do that with our new producer builder. So when you get contracted with us in the first, first six months, um, you're going to be able to earn prizes or cash based on different levels that you hit. Uh, we do this to encourage you to start submitting business with us right away, and we do that um, for the main reason that's the best way for you to fill the full experience with IMS of how we do case design, how we do case submission, how we um, handhold it through the new business process, get it paid, all of that. So um, when you hit certain production levels of 100,000 of annuity production, or that would be 10,000 of target premium commission, you're going to um, qualify for prizes all the way up to the million dollar level, which is 100,000 of target with um, life insurance. Um, and you can cash out at any time in that six months, but there's you know, things as um, iPads, um, mailers, cash, um, gift cards, all kinds of different things in there. Uh, we do work just like you do and that we ask for referrals. And I know that you probably can attest that referrals are your best clients that you get. It's the same for us. And as a thank you for pointing out um, to us, somebody that would be a good fit for the IMS team, we give you a 50 one-time bonus when that agent contracts, and then several thousands of dollars can be earned when that referral writes business with us. Um, that's going to be 0.15% off target, 0.2% off index annuities. Um, you can read it all there. Uh, that is not a haircut off their commission. We um, contract new agents at Top Street Commissions. Um, that is out of IMS pocket, and just a thank you for supporting us and helping our, us grow our business too. Uh, marketing reimbursement dollars. Um, everyone knows that uh, to grow your business, you have to be marketing at some type of level, whether it's through um, social media, uh, your website, business cards that you hand out, um, uh, seminars, lots of different topics there. But for every 100000 of index annuity premium, we've got $100 of marketing reimbursement for you. Um, single premium life for every 100000 of premium is Two hundred and target life every ten thousand of premium is also two hundred of um, marketing dollars, and I'll talk about the best way to invest that money back into your business here in a second. Um, we offer complete back office support um, all the way around um, from talking with your sales director when it comes to pre-screening and designing a case to getting um, things quoted, whether you want to do it or you want our team to do it, forms at your fingertips. Um, and we 
go through the entire process with you from you know the pre-sale of um, how do we design it how are we going to strategize on how we present it to the client taking the application a dedicated case manager that's going to follow up on your business consistently to get it moved through the process as quickly as possible um, that is um, one reason our case management team is so awesome we have a really great placement ratio um, obviously commissions are um, important too so we're making sure you're getting paid and what's not mentioned is what happens after the sale is completed and you're paid um, there may be some um, service work items that you need to help your clients with whether it might be uh, on an IUL the change in the payment or are we going from increasing the level death benefit are we changing beneficiaries ownership all of those things we can assist with um, life and annuity quotes um, and then you've got the top expertise from our wonderful uh, marketing directors as well as coaching from there and then paperless contracting makes life a whole lot simpler um, with a lot of states being uh, just in time we can contract and submit business on the same day um, that the um, service we use is Assurance Bay it keeps a hold of all of your important documents like your license, your E and O, all of those things, so you're not recreating the wheel every every time that you ask for a new contract. Um, where we get a lot of our back office support from is utilizing the IMS website. So if you haven't done it, do this right away. It's um, www.imsinc.com. Um, if you've ever looked for IMS on the internet you've probably come up with the dog food company obviously we are much different from that but you're um, and it will say that it takes 24 hours to get access it really doesn't it's usually right away there is a confirmation email that you get and 99.9% .9 of the time it goes to your junk mail so if you don't see it be looking there to complete the process of the registration but you're going to find all kinds of sales tools. It's 24 hours accessible. The sales resource library is probably one of my favorite features on the website because it goes over advanced marketing topics. Uh, it, it has calculators like 72T. Um, if you're wanting to know what's the difference between key man and a buy sell, um, all of those types of topics are on in the sales resource library. You've got access to our term quoter, our GUL quoter, our CSG, which is our final expense quoter. Americo is on there, so you'll definitely be using that if you're um, writing final expense online forms, and the list goes on and on of the things that you can find on our website. Um, we are in the era of doing e-applications, finally. Um, there, <laughs> there's always resistance when we, when the industry does something different, and um, e-applications were here before COVID, but obviously had a huge um, upswing when COVID hit, when people weren't able to meet people face-to-face. Um, and this has led to a lot of business being sold across state lines. Um, I see a lot of agents get um, registered in multiple states where before they were only doing business in one state. So it's really opened up their business by knowing how to use eApp. Luma is our annuity platform um, where you can submit annuity applications. I know that there's quoting features on there and there's also some record keeping for the annuity business that you're writing. Firelight used to be um, our annuity platform, which was replaced by Luma. Um, that is still available because we have a few life insurance carriers on there. National Western Life is probably the most prominent one still there, and then Allianz and F&G. Most of our business comes from iPipeline, which is also on our website. It doesn't require you to register like you might with Firelight or Luma. If you're registered on our website, you have access to it. Um, and also for your new submissions, if we don't have an agent number, it's really easy to um, still do that business in iPipeline by either typing in pending or your, the last four digits of your social. 
And then we've got Sunfire for our Medicare business. I should mention that um, Americo was a big deal for the industry and in getting platforms like this um, in the industry. Uh, um, I believe they were the first to do that. They really have the best process out of anybody. Um, so we have to thank them for their innovation <laughs> and our time of need through COVID and, and how it's changed the industry. Um, creative services, this is where the marketing dollars can be utilized at, um, in the best way. Uh, we have the best creative marketing team. They're all experienced in the financial service industry, which may not sound like a big deal, but it really is. Uh, they're not recreating the wheel every time with compliance and language and all of these things because they know what is acceptable and what is not. They've got turnkey solutions when it comes to um, product or brochure, um, material, flyers, um, things that can go into a, um, a newsletter or newspaper, uh, anything that you can think of with digital marketing and things like logo design is important having a business card is important how does your facebook your linkedin look how does your website look so those marketing dollars um, go a lot further with our creative services but um, if you have something that's working with you outside those qualify as well too uh, then we have um, part of our service with creative services is a complimentary marketing analysis. If you've never done this with one of your life directors or your annuity directors, it's a free service. Uh, it's a it's kind of a mini business plan, a business, business marketing plan. It looks like at everything that you already have in place. And if you don't have a, a lick of it in place, we can definitely expand on that and build something for you. Um, but if you haven't done it with us before, I would for sure utilize that free service. It's going to be a great map for what you should get in place, what anything that you should fix, and what you would want to do going forward to get in your target areas of business. Um, we've rounded out our business to help our agents by having IMS Wealth Management. Everyone knows that if you add another line of business to your to what you're doing, it definitely helps with retention. So if you're only writing annuities, if you can add in the life, long-term care or disability, that strengthens the relationship and the retention of those clients. Same goes if you focus on life insurance, adding in other products um, will help out with retention. And then it's no different for money management. Um, it um, increases revenue on a steady basis, monthly fees that are reoccurring every month. Um, that is uh, great to have a source of um, steady income that is going in. Obviously a great added um, benefit to the clients that you're working with to improve the retention and strengthening rela relationships. And we work with advisors at every level of where they've been with wealth management. If they've do been doing it for years, IMS is a great fit. And if you are brand new and wanting to figure out how to pass tests, things like that, we will help you with that by um, talking with um, our marketers at IMS Wealth Management. Uh, we do have Life and Annuity Academies. We are wrapping up for the year. We might have a few opening spots for the late September Academy, but it's coming close to closing out. Um, but we will be looking for dates in 2025. Please let your marketing directors know if that's something that you would like to be a part of. Um, being an independent advisor, it's always great to talk to other agents all over the country that are doing different things than you are to get new ideas um, by rubbing elbows with producers across the nation. Plus, you're going to hear from key insurance carriers and their marketing practices, sales ideas, advanced sales. Um, you usually get to meet quite a few IMS employee, which employees, which is the best part too. Um, so uh, if you can, if you have interest in that, please speak to me or any of the directors to make sure we've got you um, up there for that. 
Um, we do a trip. Um, it's different from other carriers or other IMOs that we work with because we do it as a qual uh, qualification period of 18 months. This qualification period started um, six months ago, so we still have 12 months of qualification on this one, which is uh, really um, uh, doable for meeting these production requirements and, and everything adds in marketing dollars are still earned your new agent producer are, are earned referrals are earned in addition to credits for the trip which is going to be awesome in Quebec um, next year in August uh, and as always you can uh, follow or like us on um, Facebook and LinkedIn. And now I'm going to turn it over to Joanna. I am super excited for us to spend time with her. Americo is a tremendous company. It's uh, uh, what I call old school um, it, life insurance company. It comes down to the heart of people and really believing in the value of life insurance. If you meet anybody with them, that's exactly what you will experience and um, uh, among a lot of other things. It's just all around a great company. And final expense is a great way to um, help people out. Um, it's a, a quick way to get paid on business. And Americo is just the right team to um, support you on that. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this over to you. Okay, can you see my screen all right? Yes, I can. Okay, perfect. So, hello everyone. I'm not sure how many of you were in with me this morning talking about IUL, but now we're going to do our instant approval Eagle Premier Series, which is final expense. Um, again, my name is Joanna Mosley. I'm one of the assistant account executives here at Americo. Um, you can see here on this page um, that building there. That is our building right here in the heart of downtown Kansas City, right off of uh, 10th and Broadway, actually. I am on that top floor there in the penthouse as we speak. Um, you know, Americo, like, um, like you were saying earlier, Americo is a family-owned company. We are uh, one of the largest privately held insurance companies in the country. Currently, um, we have a A rating with AM Best. Uh, those of you that don't know what that is, that's something I would always refer my clients to look at instead of Better Business Bureau. Uh, Better Business Bureau, you have to actually pay for your ratings on there. Um, and AM Best is actually like the insurance industry. And it has several things that um, you have, several requirements that you have to meet to get those ratings. Uh, we are based here in Kansas City. The family, the Merriman family that owns us, um, they live here as well. Uh, we were the first one to come out with instant decision, and you know we we try to stay on top of our innovative processing. Um, we really try to listen to our our agents and our clients, and that's what kind of motivates us to make changes when we do. and And we feel like we've done a really good job at that. Um, so with our instant approval final expense, I do want to just start by saying this is a level premium policy meaning your rates will not change. They do lock in that price. Um, so they won't, you know, the rates won't go up because of health or age or anything like that down the road. Um, and it is instant coverage. So as soon as they pay that first premium, their policy goes into effect. They don't have a wait period. So you can go to tools.americoagent.com. That is where our agent tools are. And that's where you can go on and you can get a quote. You could actually pull up an illustration that you'd be able to send to your client if they wanted to look it over and review it, discuss it, maybe with a spouse. Um, but you also can just immediately transition over into the application, which ultimately as brokers, that's always our goal. You know, we want to close the sale uh, one time, one time phone call if we can. Um, you do get an instant decision. Um, and the final expense application, I think it only has 23 questions, you guys. It takes like 15 minutes to get through it once you're familiar with it. Um, you, There's no medical exam on this either. 
there are medical questions. We do run the Milliman Report and the MIB. For those of you who weren't on here this morning and don't know what that is, your Milliman Report is your prescription and consumer reporting history. Um, and that goes back seven years, you guys. Um, but your MIB is your actual medical history. So this is notes from doctors, diagnoses, referrals to uh, specialists, appointments, things like that. Um, and that goes back forever. So Milliman prescription, seven years. MIB forever. That's your actual medical like documentation from your doctors. Um, the health questions are yes or no, and they are knockout questions. On a final expense, if they answer yes to any of the questions, you know that they will be a decline. But our underwriting on final expense is way more lenient than it is on like a term product or an IUL because our uh, final expense policies, the max they go up to is 40,000. Um, whereas some of those like term and IUL, those are going up to 450,000. So they've definitely got to be in better health for one of those. And final expense is targeted more at a more mature uh, demographic. So we know that your health changes uh, from 20 to 40 pretty drastically and probably, you know, 40 to 60 we change again and 60 to 80. So uh, underwriting has to be a little more lenient. Uh, the policy client can receive that immediately because in the actual application, um, you put in their email address and it does make you enter it in a second time just to verify. But there's a box in between the two areas that you put their email address in and it's automatically checked, which means they're going to get e-delivery. It means it'll get emailed to them. Once the policy is approved, it comes to us. We get it issued really quickly. They may receive it in their email within 20 minutes, you guys. So that's pretty, pretty instant. Now you can of course uncheck that box and have a paper copy sent to them. I personally feel like my final expense clients tend to prefer a paper copy compared to like my IULs and my terms. They tend to be like, yeah, it's fine, just send my email and I'll have it on my phone. Uh, then you get your, you know, you get the policy submitted and we get it out and honestly you can get paid the next day. So you can write business today and get paid tomorrow. That is one of my favorite things, um, you know, as brokers. Who, want, who doesn't want to get paid tomorrow, right? Like said no one ever. Like, no, please don't pay me. <laughs> so I love that we can get that out that quickly. Um, we have some pretty innovative signature options. So we do email and texting. And what happens is they get a code. This is what the text message looks like, just so you could see it. Um, and then you can see the email over on the right side. They would enter in the last four of their social and that would give them um, the code to provide to you, the agent. Now, on the text message, you can see there's a six-digit code right there. What happens is you send that text message, they get it, you just say, you're gonna see um, in the text that it's gonna say, use this authorization code, and it's six numbers. I need those six numbers. And they give them to you, and then you read the disclosure that's right there above where you enter in the code, which is really, it's just saying like, I am aware that I am applying for insurance. I am aware that by providing this code, it is in place of my actual like wet signature as if I was sitting in front of you. Um, and it's giving permission to run that Milliman and that MIB report. Now one, so that is, and you do the text messages twice in a, um, in a final expense. The very first thing that gets run though, is when you very first get into an application, you're entering in like their name, their date of birth, their address, and their social. And what's happening is we're running um, identity verification. If it cannot verify you guys, nine times out of 10, that is because a number in either the social or the date of birth has been transpired. So that's just kind of telling you like double check with them. Um, because it won't let you get into the application um, without uh, confirming their identity, which actually is, I mean, it kind of sounds like that might be annoying, but it actually gets done very quickly. And it's really, really helpful, you guys. Like, I'm an ex-broker, and there's nothing more frustrating 
than a client who maybe like mixes up two numbers and then you submit the policy thinking it's approved and then we have to come back and be like, hey, can you get a copy of the social or can you verify the date of birth? Which then makes the customer question you and us. Um, it's also additional work for you guys. So it just ends up taking even longer. And then what happens, I don't know how many of you know this, but because we ran medical history on the wrong information, now we have to rerun it. And sometimes they get declined because now all of a sudden we've got the correct information and that person does and in fact have a medical history. So it saves a lot of frustration and time for everyone to do this identity verification up front. It's actually been very helpful. We have had way more positive feedback than negative. The ones that have been negative have, have been people who really just are not getting the correct information or are going too fast in the application. And, and really that's something that you know I would advise, just slow down, be compliant, slow down. You save yourself time when you can touch something one time instead of two or three. Um, our input decision, underwriting decision, again, you're gonna do, as soon as you get that first text signature, the milliman and the MIB are running them. So that's your initial underwriting. When you're in the application, a little green box will pop down that says, you know, um, initial underwriting approved, okay to continue with health questions. You automatically get a policy number up in the upper left-hand corner of the application. So that is provided pretty quickly into the application rather than having to wait till the very end. Um, again, with e-delivery, the client gets their policy within 20 minutes. There's no amendment, no paperwork. Again, you can write a policy today, get paid tomorrow. And we do something called a you first bonus if your company decides to participate in this. When you earn uh, 50,000 you first points, it will enter you in to, it starts at a $5,000 cash bonus and it is uncapped. You have till November 30th to get that. There are some requirements. You have to have 72% uh, six month persistency, 83% 12 months, and 70% premium applied, I believe was the numbers. I may have to double check that for you guys. Um, so this is just sort of a, a quick little, I guess, picture to show you the cost of funeral and cremation has increased astronomically, basically. Um, this says in the past 30 years, funeral expenses have risen by 227%. You guys, the cost of final expenses just in the last three years has raised an insane amount. Um, one of the things that I always did and still do when I'm on the phone with a client is I always ask them, you know, because right away to even get a quote, you got to figure out what state they're in, right? And so I just Google average cost of cremation and average cost of funeral. And truthfully, I would say right now on average, what we see um, cremation, once everything is all said and done, is around 8000 8000 um, and funerals are like twelve to 15000 right now, depending on where in the country you are. Um, but you have to remember, a lot of times you'll get those clients that are like, no, I saw a billboard that said cremation is starting at $999. Yeah, that's just the burning of the body. And that also, um, I don't know if you guys know this, but, you know, the bigger the body, the higher the fire, the longer it's got to burn. So depending on the size of the person, it can cost quite a bit more than that. If you have to transport a body, um, you do have to pay for that. A lot, on average right now, funeral homes charge about $4 a mile to transport a body. And if you have to cross a state line, um, it can become astronomical. Uh, it's the expenses that go into this are, are crazy. Um, so we have two simplified issue, whole life, final expense, Eagle products, okay? We have our Eagle Premier, which is our, I always say it's like our standard policy. This is your healthier client. 
Um, so it is full death benefit from day one. So remember day one is as soon as they make their very first premium payment, that policy goes into effect and there's no wait period. This will cover, you can write new policies from ages 40 to 85 if they are a non-tobacco user. If they are a tobacco user, it's 40 to 80. And the face amounts available are 5,000 to 40,000. Again, this is an instant decision, no medical, which means no saliva or blood or anything like that. There are those health questions. Um, but on a final expense policy, the health questions, I say they're very sort of generic questions. I feel like IULs and terms get really more specific because you do have to be quite a bit healthier. Um, our, our Eagle questions are basically like, are you a smoker, yes or no? Um, ever been diagnosed with COPD? Any, and I always say to clients, even in my discovery, I'm like, any issues with internal organs? So kidney, liver, heart, lungs. Um, and then it's like, do you use, uh, are you confined to a wheelchair or a walker? Are you on oxygen? Um, Eagle does not care if they have diabetes. We care if they have complications as a result of diabetes. So the question is specifically worded. Do you have any complications as a result of diabetes, such as any amputations, eye disease, kidney disease, neuropathy, insulin shock, or diabetic coma? Um, so if they have any of those, then they would have to answer yes. But if they just have diabetes and there's no glaucoma, there's no neuropathy, things like that, they're fine. Um, and then the Eagle Guaranteed, this is our, we call it a GI. This is our guaranteed issue. So this is for your clients who maybe have congestive heart failure or COPD or, you know, uh, maybe they're confined to a wheelchair. Um, this is for your clients who aren't as healthy. Uh, maybe they get in-home health care because that's going to be a question. Uh, so this actually has a three-year graded pay period. Um, the age ranges on these are 50 to 80 for new policies, but again, it's a whole life policy. So if they make it to age 100, they no longer have to pay for their policy and they don't lose it. And if they make it to 120, we just pay it out at that point. Um, but the GIs range from five to 15,000 and we say ROP, so return of premium. In year one, if they were to pass away, they would get ROP plus 5% interest. Now, my clients always, it never fails. They always are like, oh, it's 5% interest of the premium they've paid, not of the face amount. So I just want to be very clear on that. In year two, they would get return of premium or ROP plus 10% of the premiums they've paid. Year three is no longer return of premium. They get 75% of the face amount. And then starting in year four and beyond, the policy will pay the full face amount. However, if they were to pass away in that first three years where the policy is still in its graded period, if they pass away due to an accident, we will go ahead and pay the full face amount on a GI. So it's a little less of a gamble for them. Here is just our reference sheet. This is something that you can see um, in the agent guide in our agent portal, or if you go to agent cafe, which I'll give you those addresses here in just a little bit, and it breaks down those details for you. And then um, our product highlights. So again, we have two different Eagle um, products. So anyone can be covered because they're either gonna be under the premier or they're gonna be under the guaranteed. Um, Full death benefit payable for accidental death on that GI. We do a quit smoking advantage on the Eagle Premier, and I'm gonna go into that a little bit. And then we have additional riders and benefits that are included at no extra cost. So one of my favorite things when I was a broker was clients would always be like, oh, well, I can get the same coverage, and they would say a different company, I'm not gonna say who it was, and it's like two or three dollars cheaper. And I'm like, okay, but I can go on and quote the same thing. And if I add the additional benefits, it is the same price. 
um, and they don't include some of the benefits that we have. We also are known, I mean, we pay out very quickly, but especially on our final expense, we've been known to get money out as fast as three days sometimes. We are very flexible. We can work with, you know, a funeral director. Um, we try not to cause a lot of problems for the clients in that, in that moment where they probably don't know what to do. Um, and then, of course, base amounts five to 40,000 on the Eagle Premier, but it's five to 15 on the GI. No medical exams for either. And there are optional grandchildren term riders available on that Eagle Premier as well. I'm going to touch on those too. So, again, we have our e tools, uh, which is phenomenal. You just click on a button, get your quote, get your illustration, and you can transition right into the application. You have text and email signature options. Um, I will tell you, just to point it out, if you guys were not on the call earlier today, um, if you have a client, and I feel like I hear it more with final expense clients, and you send that text message to them in place of their signature, and they can't seem to find the code in the text, or they can't figure out how to open it, you guys do not put your own cell phone number in there. Um, that is a compliance red flag. They will catch it, and it will cause a problem for you. So do not put your own phone number or email in. Now, you can put, like, let's say it's um, a 70-year-old woman and her grandchild is there. Yes, you can put the grandchild's phone number in there so that um, they can help them get the text message. But we need to have the actual insured on the phone answering the help questions and things like that. Uh, we provide very quick underwriting decisions. Policy is e-deliverable. So again, they could have it within 20 minutes, but you do have the ability to send a paper copy. And uh, we have very competitive compensation uh, and we can pay you the next day. Now, our quit smoking advantage. So this is one of my favorite things that we offer. This is huge in the industry. Uh, anyone who has not used nicotine products for at least 12 months prior to the completion date of the application is considered non-tobacco. Let's say they used to smoke and they haven't smoked for seven months. You guys, the question is, have they used products in 12 months? So you would have to answer yes. And then when they go another five months, right, which would then total a full 12 months, then their doctor can send out information that supports that they have been tobacco free for a full 12 months and they will lock in the non-tobacco rate. So the tobacco is not just cigarettes, it's cigars, it's pipes, it's chew, snuff, gum, lozenges, pack, uh, patches, vapes. Vapes are a big thing right now. Um, so what we do is we actually give a smoker the non-tobacco rate for the first three years which is huge. Three years is a long time to give someone a chance to quit smoking. Um, and they have to quit for 12 consecutive months. The reason why is statistically, a smoker um, who does not smoke for 12 months straight is less likely to go back to using nicotine products. Um, but we give them three years to quit. And we give them a non-tobacco rate, which you guys, I don't know if you've noticed, but typically tobacco rates are almost like double what the non-tobacco rates are. So what happens is they have two options at the beginning of that fourth year. If they have quit for 12 months in first full three years, then they lock in the non-tobacco rate and the face amount stays the same. If they do not quit, then the beginning of the fourth year, they have two options. They can keep their premium the same and we will lower the face amount to match what that smoker's rate would provide. Or they can keep the face amount the same and raise the premium to match the smoker's rate. But again, I mean, that's huge. We give them three years to quit. it. So that's a really good benefit with us. Additional benefits that 
are included at no additional cost, okay? So we do, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, we include several benefits. Um, sorry guys. So we have the, the way I word it when I'm pitching it, let me put it that way. I think it'll make more sense. The way I word it when I'm pitching to a client is we include an accidental death benefit where if you pass away, your policy will pay double. We are the only carrier that I know of um, that does a common carrier rider. And I always like to joke with my clients and I say, you know, we, we know that we have to work our whole lives to be able to afford to travel. <laughs> so we include that in our final expense policy. Um, what it is, is if you are a fair paying passenger, right? So like if you are a bus driver and something happens, yes, you're on a bus, which is a common carrier, but you're not a passenger. Like you're a higher risk if you're the driver of the bus and you're on it every day. So if you are a fair paying passenger on a common carrier, which is a bus, a plane, a train, or a ship, uh, and there is an accident and you pass away as a result, your policy will pay triple. And that's how I word it to my clients. The reality is, it's because your policy is gonna pay the face amount. This is an accident, so now it's gonna pay the face amount again. And then because you're on the common carrier, it's gonna pay the face amount again. So it equals triple. Um, and then it also includes terminal illness uh, benefit. So if a doctor gives you a terminal illness diagnosis and they foresee 12 months or less before you're gonna pass away. We will pause your monthly premium. You do not have to pay the premium for that 12 months and you will not lose the policy. And you have the ability to withdraw up to 50% of the face amount. And we just cut that to you in a check. Um, it doesn't have to go to like a doctor or you know a hospital or whatever. We just cut it to the client so that it can be used at their discretion. Uh, the first brokerage I ever worked at, we actually had a client who received a terminal illness uh, diagnosis and he did that. He withdrew 50% of his policy and he took his grandchildren to Disney World because he said that's what he wanted them to remember. Um, and, and he can do that. Um, the, let's see, yeah, so those are those three. There are grandchild writers. Those do cost though. So it's a dollar per child per month for up to $5,000 in coverage per kid. Um, and the nice thing is, again, this is a level term um writer and it covers the child so they have to be 17 or younger for you to take a grandchild writer out on them but it covers them until they're 25 because then at 25 really they're an adult they need to carry their own policy then so our i've talked about agent tools that's where you write your policies get your quotes things like that we do have a demo site, it's right here. It's the tools-demo.americoagent.com. Um, and that's where you could go in and practice an app. You can read through and see the questions, just to get familiar with it. Uh, now in the demo site, you can put your own phone number in for the text message because it's gonna simulate like it's running your MIB and your Milliman report, but it isn't actually, so it's fine. Here's what, Here's what it looks like. So you have this red stripe across the top of the screen, okay? Anytime you see that, you are in the demo site. Just a heads up for those of you that were not in here this morning, um, information from the demo site does not carry over to the actual agent tools to the regular site. So if you end up accidentally, and I'm, I'm telling you every agent does it at least once, um, I probably did it like nine months in. I tried so hard never to do it. And I finally did it like nine months in and I was like, oh, rookie mistake. <laughs> so everybody does it. 
Um, but that information you will have to rewrite because it does not transfer over. And again, it hasn't actually run their MIB and Milliman. So even though that little green box pops down and says uh, initial underwriting approved, it's because it's made to simulate the actual application. So what's nice is all you do is go in, put the state in, put their age in, the um, little TV screen, that's how you would just go automatically to the application. I've never even had to do that because I always go to the calculator button and that's where I give them a quote and then I go into the application from there. Um, then, <laughs> so this is what, if you prepared a quote and they wanted you to email it to them, this is what it would look like. That's what you would send to them. Um, we keep, we try to keep it very simple, right? Like keep it simple, clean and professional quotes for clients shows the benefits and writers included monthly quoted premium cash value over the years. And it has your information on it too. So they can always get a hold of you. Um, then our agent cafe, I talked about this this morning as well. You guys, Agent Cafe, you do not have to have a username or password to get on and look at it. I would definitely recommend going there because Agent Cafe has a training site on it and literally you can go through and watch training videos or look at flyers or agent guides for every single one of our products. They're all on Agent Cafe. So it's a wonderful, wonderful resource. You also can get on there um and order uh marketing materials so if you need flyers or something for your clients you can this is what it looks like when you get in there you would just sort of pick your what you know click the button that you want and that's really it um we have so the 800 number that's on here this is the same number that is for clients and for agents uh, it starts out automated and then it puts you through to a person. So you can contact agent services through there. If you, again, weren't on here with me this morning, agent services has about 35 people on it right now. And they all specialize in something or multiple things. So you have people down there that can check the status of your policy. There's a commissions team. There's a sales support team. Um, there's licensing. Like that link will, that phone number will get you to all of them. Honestly, the thing that I like the most is the agent.services at americo.com. Um, if you don't need an answer like right now, then I would just email. Honestly, you guys, they're really good. That email team is really good. They respond the same day usually within an hour or two, as long as your emails are sent before 3 p.m. Central Time. Agent Thought Services, to me, is the best because if there's something they can send you, they can email it versus trying to just explain it over the phone. Um, but if it's something that you need to answer like now because you have a client sitting in front of you, for sure. Um, but that's, that's really it, you guys. I mean, it's, it's so simple. I definitely recommend doing the agent tools like the demo site just to familiar familiarize yourself with the application and see how easy it is like i'm like i think i said this but i'm pretty sure the final expense only has like 23 help questions and to me they're very basic it's like do you use a wheelchair are you on oxygen do you have diabetes because then if they say no you're like then i know you don't have complications with diabetes um you know for your discovery for your discovery conversations i feel like what always worked best for me especially with a final expense client was I would say, um, so I don't care what medications you're on, but what conditions do you take medications for? Because then usually they'll be like, oh, I take stuff for my heart and I take stuff for my feet. And if they say heart, you can be like, okay, do you have high blood pressure or do you have like congestive heart failure? And that's how you can sort of probe into those medical questions to know if they're going to be a GI or if they're going to be the Eagle Premier. Because um, if it's a GI, I like to start out that way. The last thing I want to do is be like, yeah, we can get you $40,000 in coverage and it'll start tomorrow and it's going to be this price. And then come to find out they're like, 
oh, well, I'm on oxygen and I have congestive heart failure and I have, I go to kidney dialysis three times a week. I don't even want to pitch them that low price because what I want to do is keep it a very positive interaction and just be like, oh, well, not a problem. I have still got something. I can still get you coverage. That is absolutely fine. And I'm just going to go straight to the GI. And the nice thing about the GI is it does not ask health questions. So that's one of my favorite things too, honestly, but I feel like no GIs ask health questions. So I want to take some time and open it up to questions if you guys have any. I don't want to keep you too long. I've kind of been, I'm very excited. I love final expense. I used to sell this in my sleep when I was a broker. So <laughs> ask any questions you have. Uh, if you guys have questions, you can, um, there's a question box. I don't see any yet, but um, if you see any or have any questions, let me know. Or you can put it in the chat box, too. Um, a few things. Uh, this summer, two of our guaranteed issue um, products went off market. Um, the one that we sold a lot of was um, Great Western or Wellaby. That's no longer as of, I guess, this Friday. It's no longer a go. Um, so um, Americo is a great um, product to uh, transition to. Um, I also wanted to point out what Joanna said about settling the claim quickly. Um, most companies are going to require a death certificate to settle claims. And those can take four to six weeks um, to settle that. And final expense, um, the the idea behind it is that you have funds to cover the funeral and any kind of final expenses. And some people are very disappointed when they find out their final expense. It, they're going to be requested to get the death certificate and then go through the claims um, uh, process. Uh, which extends that. So um, you mentioned that with the working with the funeral director, that's a big deal um, that um, Americo is willing to do that. The other thing I would say, uh, just again, is the feel from Americo is that um, it is family owned. Every aspect of service, whether it's talking to me as a marketer, the agent, the client, all around, that's the feel that you get from Americo. Um, so when you when they really, really need it, when death occurs and death, you know, death is going to happen for anybody, I feel like you want to be dealing with a company like Americo that cares and wants to make people and the most stressful time in their life make them um, whole and um, not worried about additional things that um, they shouldn't have to. So, um, well, and that's one of the things I used to tell my clients too is, you know, the, the hard thing, and I was able to speak from experience from when I lost my father, is I think the hardest thing is that um, everybody wants to get paid up front, right? And people would always laugh, but it's very true. Like, it's not like a funeral director can repo his work if you don't pay your bill afterwards. So they all want to get paid up front. And we understand the importance of getting those funds into family member hands quickly. All right. I had one question on commissions. Um, I know who that agent is. And I will, when we get off the call, I will send those out right to you. Um, and I think that agent that wrote the question i think you were on this morning too so i'll send you both the final expense and the um, iul again um if anybody missed the iul um, presentation this morning email me beth at imesinc.com and i will um, get that out to you as well um, other than that i think um oh i was going to ask you i um what was the additional benefit that's included? I kind of missed it there. Is that like a living benefits type thing? Yeah. So we include oh, okay. accelerated death, common carrier, and accidental. They're all included. Okay. Great. That's awesome. All right, everybody. Enjoy um, your 
the rest of your Thursday. I hope Friday is short for you so that you can have a wonderful holiday weekend. Joanna, thank you so much for the time that you spent with us today. Um, we'll talk to you later. Yes, thanks for having me. Bye, guys. Have a good day.